What's good? It's Shell Try here, the most woke, no joke, and I'm back at again with a brand new video. And I'm gonna keep it a boat, baby. Biscuit with you, man. If y'all ain't mad right now, you bout to be. If y'all ain't mad at this very second, I'm about to show you something right now, here in a second. We don't get respect, bro. What, what else is new? I, you shouldn't be mad, I guess. I don't know, man. We don't get respect. It's nothing new, man. It's really nothing new. I'm talking about the Bleacher Report uh, article that came out just yesterday talking about the 2018 NFL GM offseason report cards where they grade all the every team's offseason with uh, letter grades, not like a, not like a, a number out of 10 or like whatever. When I tell you that usually Bleacher Report does a pretty good job of giving the Panthers some love. Let me, anyway, man, I, before I get into that, man, let's go straight on PIP. I want to just get straight to it, man. I need to get straight to this right now because I don't want to explain it without showing you guys. So here's the site right here. It says 2018 NFL GM offseason report cards. Yada, yada, yada. It's going in alphabetical order. So we see the Cardinals here first. We see the Ravens, Buffalo Bills. And look at this. Now we're down to the Carolina Panthers. All right, we'll go on this slowly. We'll, we'll read all, everything I said. We'll read all of it. For, for the most part, the Panthers maintained throughout this offseason. Latula Lay's departure to Precipitated, Dontari Poe's signing, the Daryl Worley trade led the way for general manager Marty Herney to select cornerback Dante Jackson in the second. Defensive back Kurt Coleman left as well, and Rashawn Golden's third-round selection fits the vo fills the void. Charles Johnson isn't returning after being cut, but Julius Peppers is. Wide receiver is one of the is the one area where the Panthers didn't tread water. The Worley deal brought Torrey Smith in return, and Herney used the organization's first-round pick on DJ Moore. The fact that Cam Newton is happy with this outcome bodes well. As the organization deals with its pending sale after allegations surfaced that owner Jerry Richardson sexually harassed female employees and used a racial slur toward an African-American employee, the 2015 MVP can still be the team's shining light if he has the right parts around him. Smith is a vertical threat and more can be dynamic after the catch. Grade C+. Plus. Great C plus. Now explain that to me. Explain how we get a just above average grade when we addressed all of our issues except the issue that he doesn't even bring up. He doesn't even bring up that we have we have problems on the O line. So you have to explain to me how do you how do you say that we we address we have a, one, a complete one eighty in the uh, in in wide receivers. We had a, a terrible wide receiver core last year. And we turned it all the way around. We picked up, we didn't have a great secondary. We picked up secondary members. I mean, he didn't even mention Cockrell. But yeah, we did get, uh, we got Cersei as well. I mean, we got, we have, uh, we, I mean, we, we picked up, we picked up players everywhere, honestly. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, we fixed the wide receiver issue. We, we addressed the, the secondary in free agency and in the draft. Uh, we got the steal of the draft, in my opinion, and Ian Thomas in the fourth round as probably one of the most physical uh, specimens for a tight end, a raw athlete, basically. But we got a C plus. Explain it. I, okay, so maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you know what? Maybe I'm wrong a little bit. Let's look at someone else in our in our uh, in our in our division. The Atlanta Falcons. What do they say about him? About them? The Falcons' entire offseason led to a single outcome. Quarterback Matt Ryan's five-year, $150 million deal. If you go down here, it's all about his deal right here. However, such a heavy financial commitment at one position creates inflexibility in overall roster construction. The Falcons didn't sign any significant free agents despite concerns along the offensive and defensive fronts, interiors. Neither of the team's top two draft picks addressed either issue. But... Wide receiver Calvin Ridley is a wonderful complimentary piece to Julio Jones, while cornerback Isaiah Oliver is uh, an ideal system fit. So you're telling me that that they got a they got a B grade. You telling me that, that the Atlanta Falcons get a B for doing what? That they 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 gave Matt Ryan money. His contract was over this year. They had to pay him. What do you mean? They they're so happy about this about this signing. Matt Ryan had a, his deals from 2013 to 2018. They had to sign anything. They're just gonna let him go on to free market and the free agency and and not sign their 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 franchise quarterback. What kind of stupid? What kind of article is this? They they, they get a B grade for re-signing Matt Ryan. You know what? Matter of fact, 
You deserve all. Give him an A. Give him an A for 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 re-signing Matt Ryan. Wasn't he a, wasn't he ranked like top five, top seven last year? You you you, you show them love for 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 re-signing Matt Ryan and not addressing any of their other issues. They 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 drafted the second they drafted the second overall wide receiver in the draft. Congratulations, congratulations. You signed you also drafted Isaiah Oliver, who was probably the around third or fourth best corner in the draft. Congratulations. You get a B grade. The only way I see us getting a C plus is because we had to sell the team. But that wasn't even. But one, that wasn't even an off season issue. That, was, that happened and during the we, the team had to get sold was announced for being sold during the season. And if anything, the team being sold uh, and getting taken away from a owner who was both racist and was and had sexual advances toward women that were un that were unwanted uh, shows that we're moving forward as a front off as a as as a as a franchise. That should be a positive thing. So explain to me how we get a C plus for addressing issues everywhere but our O line, which you didn't even mention. So you can't even use that as a reason for why you gave us a C plus. At least mention it in your write up. While the while the, the Falcons get the Falcons get a, a B for 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 signing for doing what literally any other GM would do. You have Matt Ryan, his contracts up. You give him money. What are you What are you talking about? This is why I don't, I don't respect any kind of these these sports publications, these sports news agencies and whatnot. These companies they don't ever pay attention to the to the Panthers at all. So I don't really. I mean, don't even mention that we that we re up Greg Olson, a top three or four tight end for another two years. Don't mention that. I mean, our, I I guess I guess our off season was trash, right? I guess I guess we, we were just slightly above average. Whatever, man. Let me know what y'all think about this about this trash. Oh my. Our, I don't go down the list, but I just can't handle it myself, man. I'll have the link of this in the description below. Let me know what y'all think about, about us getting a C plus grade and the Falcons getting a B for doing what? Let me know in the comments below or my Twitter at Shelltron. Save the channel name, man. You already know, dude, that like button. I'm pissed, bro. This is trash. I got a button right here to subscribe. Button right here for to watch more videos. Namaste. Back sooner than you think.